Time to look at some more economic data. I'm uh, starting to dig uh, deep in the uh, trading view. You got a whole bunch oh. economy and they got a lot of data feeds from uh, the Fred money supply initial claims I'm going through some of them some of them are their, the classic ones I've been looking at the uh, monetary base unemployment I uh, posted a few things on the uh, stock tweets and Twitter today and now I fell upon industrial production index uh, economic indicator that measures real output for all facilities located in the United States manufacturing mining electric and gas utilities so that's the excerpt from uh, uh, Fred of uh, St. Louis, fed.org. Uh, and this little thing really telling me, coinciding with uh, the other economic data like unemployment, really following, look at that. The correlation is pretty insane. Let's do some correlation. Sometimes the eyes deceive me. And in industrial production index, Look at that correlation. It should be pretty, pretty high. Close to one. At the bottom, some divergence right here. We had some in 2001. So the industrial, the, the stock market was having difficulty while the uh, um, divergence was being created with the uh, industrial production index. Do, do, do. But most of the time, we got a high correlation. 2015-16, some of the um, the industrial production index was still going down when the price market was going back upwards, and that's part of the uh, very um, difficult uh, region we had right here. We had a lot of uh, clues going either way. You, people could have called uh, this uh, the end of the bull market in 2015-16, expecting it to go down, but economic data was weighing on both sides, uh, chart patterns, monthly defined chart patterns. Also, uh, could have very been easy here. It was a hard whipsaw zone, a lot of noise. And we started creating some divergence. So right now the price action, the initial production index was going downwards. You'd expect that correlation to stay high and the price action to start going down with it. But the price action stayed flat and let it, uh, the uh, industrial production gave it time to flatten out and then go back up and uh, as this final or as this stage this continuation stage two we had on the monthly chart from uh, 2016 all the way to today and it matches pretty much with uh, those uh, horizontal those monthly defined breaks here's a 2001 right here I'll put my vertical line just to make sure I don't cheat myself you another break here earlier break break test break test and all that below a declining 12 month ring average where is my vertical line so here's the first one right here zoom 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 okay right here declining so now we're starting to really have a declining break below that small top and then we started having metrics declining declining industrial uh, production index oh, let's just check it out here if we had some embryonic decline uh, yeah just a little bit here also started declining softly but when it really started rolling over then we really accelerated or confirmed that stage four decline on the monthly candle chart. Scoot over to 2007. Here's my embryonic top breakdown test. And then we got that uh, complementary sideways uh, continuation breakdown, 12 month ring average, always below, bringing the price action down. Here, oh, let's put it here. Here's my second breakdown right here. Let's match that up. And what do we have here? Do, 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 drum roll. Okay, starting to decline. 
horizontal breakout breakdown line not quite yet so embryonic starting to decline but you've had some declines along the way but you want decline decline you want to confirm and right here on that second on that pullback close that 12 month ring average the industrial production index never came back 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 up and then you were deepening and then you had that bigger pattern Whoa. and if i could draw a straight trend line so that's how it built embryonic right here and then after that you got to you never getting you're piling on metrics uh, month after month, declining, declining. And then after that, it's a hard, uh, it's really trendy. Once it starts declining, ha has a hard time going back up. So right that, right there, combined with uh, the weight of evidence of uh, the chart pattern of how the market interprets everything. Uh, industrial production index, unemployment index, uh, non-farm uh, total payrolls, everything, everything, everything. So that's the price actions, the final ultimate, and that's what you trade. A judge and jury but when you have that and you want to make sure price action you're not going to get whipsawed and then you start looking at uh, industrial production and you're seeing that it's starting to really roll over uh, going down below uh, previous lows breaking down right here embryonic then breaking down you got your confirmation right here delicate you could say uh, maybe one two three trend line here break you get all these type of uh, signals. Even here you have some trend line breaks. Um, a diagonal trend line break, well, it's not the how you, you don't play it there, but it gives you an indication just like a, a moving average violation that the trend is slowing down or it's not maintaining its vertical ascent. So if you have multiple, multiple points where it's uh, hitting that trend line, you say, okay, that's the direction, the angle of ascent. And once you violate it, uh, you, you either consolidate, you move into a stage three or stage one if, it, if, you, if it's, a, it's from, um, from the bottom. But that's some of the early warning signs that uh, you're going to be, this is a coin toss. You're, something's up for grabs. It could change, you either go back, resume, or go back down. But that's a, a warning sign that uh, you could be entering a period where you're going to shift uh, directions. So this happened 2001, 2002, uh, 2008. You started having it right here in 2015. So 2015, that's why, again, it was a big, big trap. You use risk and money management uh, theories or all this type of analysis I'm doing out loud. Uh, it's not oh, it's going to go down. It's I'm isolating clues which are going to be uh, used in a total weight of evidence. So it's not, ah, oh, you said it's going to go down. It's piling up evidence, and when you get the best possible weight of evidence play, that's when you enter. That's why I added monthly candle charts to reduce whipsaws, the wicks, the noise. That's why I'm adding uh, macro technicals, economic data to reduce noise, really lower my positions. But I'm aiming to grab beginnings on the monthly candle chart beginnings on the monthly candle chart and scale in and as the we move out and the trend line violations are violated the monthly averages are violated then i'm gonna scale out and then and then consume uh, my profits so right here in 2015 16 we had those initial breakdowns oh i'm gonna Here, we could have thought that we were breaking down. And indeed, we did. And as we saw with the correlation that the industrial production it was telling us that we should have been breaking down more than that. But uh, it slowed down. It's creating some divergence with... Uh, did we have divergence in the stock market? Starting to realign with the stock market here. No real divergence. And everything picked up. So either that was the shortest, like we saw see sometimes with the, the the recession index. Some people think there was a micro or mini recession here. It went down, picked up very nice, and then we continued off to uh, this run that we're in right now. Okay, so where are we today? Often we I looked, and here was my initial breakdown. 
and then the price action went really back up, really higher than these previous month, uh, previous uh, 2008 breakdowns where we didn't challenge the 12 month ring average or we came close and went back down. Today, we really went back up. So I'm suspect the charts morphing. I'm suspecting that now we're actually going to have a bigger pattern, a bigger top, uh, as long as we don't surpass those previous highs and doesn't continue upwards. Uh, I still think we're at the end of a, a, the economic cycle, the business cycle, and we're just going to have a bigger top is being traced right now in the works. Not quite a valid trend line. I'd like to have more points. So everything seems to be bigger, uh, but it's starting to turn around right here. So where is going to be? Here's my support. So until maybe we need a few more readings, industrial uh, production, I want to see it go start going down, close below that previous test, close below the the trend line. Whoa. Might even go a little lower. So by that time, for that to start happening, maybe the market when it sees lower and lower readings on the industrial production index, and then start pricing that in along with everything else that it has to price in. And then after that, we'll have a declining 12 month swing average. We'll have price action zigzagging here and have a coinciding. Oh, no. Oh. Maybe a little later, just like that. Oh, I put my 2015. So I'm suspecting that we need a little bit more time to mature. Um, unemployment rate went down this month, so it's not. Uh, we didn't get three rises in a row. Uh, total non-farm payrolls uh, very low, starting to flatten out that curve of ascent. So these, it still shows us there's more time to mature. I don't think this is going to crazy drop, and if it does drop, it's going to test December lows. It's going to bounce back up until this really, really matures, and we're we're entering this type of phase of 2008 breakdown, of 2001 breakdown, uh, even 2015, 16 breakdown, but more sustained. But this top pattern is bigger than we had back here, bigger than we had back in 2001, bigger than 2015. Everything's bigger right now. So it's just piling up for a bigger fall. And here's a measured move. And that measure move is going to bring me back down to those 2015, 16 levels. That's just the first target. And after that, we'll see how, uh, how it bounces back up. And that's how I use economic data, guys. All right. That's another one. Industrial production. Keep an eye on it. Uh, see how that top pattern uh, forms. Is it going to etch back upwards, giving, uh, letting the market uh, uh, vacuum some more to the upside? Or if it keeps going down, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the uh, on the stock price, and we'll be setting in low lower highs, lower highs on the monthly candle chart, and that's uh, is clues of a down trend, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Ciao, guys.